What's up everyone, Ryan here, and I'm back with another PGA Tour 2K23 Challenge Series video. And today I'm returning to the Impossible Challenge Series. And in this series, I take on some of the hardest golf courses in the game on extreme course conditions and try to get to a score of even or better on Master TGC Tour's difficulty settings. Uh, so my first challenge series here in the Impossible Challenge, we took down the Predator AG in 11 attempts, but now, on the second impossible challenge series at Central Park AG. Today we'll make my 46th attempt at this golf course. This golf course truly has been the impossible golf course, but could today be the day? I need all of yours one times, all the hype and positive encouraging comments, just like always, today can be the day where we finally take down this golf course. April 5th, 2024. Here we go. Let's do this, everybody. So you all already know the course. Central Park AG designed by the legend Alan Greenspun. The settings are the same. We got the back tees. Pin location number four. Very high winds blowing in the north direction. We got very firm greens, very firm fairways, and very fast green speeds with default time of day and weather. Very extremely unplayable conditions. That does not stop me from coming back for my 46th attempt at this challenge. If you all get some enjoyment, drop a like, subscribe for more, and you can check out plenty more gaming videos videos here on the gamer ability youtube channel let's do this everybody get your coffee Hello there. My cheers name is John mccarthy it is my great distinct pleasure to welcome you to pga tour 2k23 hoping you're up for some good times and today we start off with the par four let's get going here hey nothing like the nerves of the impossible challenge it's a new month here we are in april could april be the month Get the nervous jitters out the practice swing i feel good today i feel relaxed i don't feel nervous to be honest like i i don't feel nervous we're just gonna go out there and play our game let's go tip 46 starts now a beautiful start all right let's rip them today youtube thank you all for all the positive encouraging comments on this series each week i'm telling you all you all are legends that means so much and you all leave your tips on shots that i take what you what some Second better strategies on the first. i appreciate each and every one of your all's positive encouraging comments you all keep me coming back we fight we fight okay uh basically got to put this up into the edge of the fairway here don't want to send it into the water to the left that's for sure in there before <laughs> Been there uh, one too many yeah, times. This is a tough call. Not sure where this will go. You know, it's it's interesting. You know, we played this course forty six times. Has it ever played the same? No. Never. Not one day has this course played the same. That's insane, right? That's how unique this golf course is. Like it is the perfect, is third impossible shot. challenge. But I can tell you one thing: the Predator AG was much harder than this. Like I that it takes the luckiest round of golf and the best round of golf ever because that course is so easy to concede shot limit. This one not as much. It's not easy to concede shot limit. It's just hard to get a par on golf holes, right? So they're hard in different ways. But Predator AG, I've never even been close to that attempt that I had. Never been close to that after that. Like that that round was impossible. Here we go. 123, downhill 5. So I still believe 100% that course is way harder than this one. Even though we did it in 11. That's just we had that one perfect round. Which is what we're going to have today. I like pitching wedge here. I really do. These cross headwinds are tricky. You just don't know how the wind's going to grab it. Right? That's It's tricky. That's perfect. Wind grabbed it great. And it's going to hold because of the wind. What a start. Safe approach. Nice. If you drop this, it could save par. Don't you all feeling relaxed today? Feeling calm? No, you're like, right. Didn't you say you're going to take a week off? It just, this challenge just keeps pulling me back. I keep, I keep saying, but you know, I, I make it work. I make it work. <laughs> so I've been able to make it work recently. I haven't took a week off in a while. It may come in the future, but this challenge just keeps pulling me back. I'm like, this could be the one. This could be the one. You know, I, I'm so persistent that, you know, I, taking a week off is good. We've, we've 
we've done great taking a week off, but I just didn't want to. <laughs> I don't know. Let's send this in. Left to right, then right to left. Going towards that Are hole. you kidding me? We're starting things off at even That's par. a dream start. To the next hole. Lovely way to start your round. Birdies are out there. If you though. all are new to the Impossible Challenge series, yeah, just nice know that that first golf hole, hole is insane. A par is like an eagle. Thought about this one all week. Thank you all for all the tips you left on here. A lot of you all said, you know, either way is fine. If you want to take out the water, go three wood. And I... I, I like that because I just, this bunker, it, we've never hit a good shot from it. I like this play much better. I really do. You're basically taking the water out of the pitcher. You're leaving yourself well, this one's good. with a shot over the trees. And I don't know, I just like it better. I don't think there's a reason to risk it because if you we go for that, like we've done a lot, we hit it in the water, Second shot, that's the end of your run, two. right? just the way it is <laughs> now i love this tailwind hybrid in hand my favorite club a little bit of draw a little bit of loft you basically just want to put this in the middle of the green nothing fancy just put it to the middle That's perfect. Is it going to die in that hill? That's unfortunate. So it's going to roll all the way down. That was a great golf shot, though. He did the win to add a little bit more front spin to that. You know, it just it didn't get the hop that I wanted to. Now, it is an extreme red slope there. Third shot. Was it last week we were going for par? Bo it was bogey from here, right? We hit a beautiful flop. So we need that same shot from the same spot. So 41 yards, uphill 5 feet. A little bit of front spin on it. Don't want this to spin back at all. Do a practice swing. You feel nervous just practice swing. That's why. Wow, that was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Did we put enough front spin on it and not spin back enough? It, it should hold. It should hold is the key word. It should. And it did. All right, 20 feet to go. That is such a scary shot because, yes, that ball rolls off there sometimes. And this is the putt we've had a lot. It's a dangerous putt. 20 feet uphill, one foot. It's right to left, that first grid line. Then it moves right to left again, then back left to right. Tricky. Basically straight in, though, honestly. one time like you've never one time before youtube if you have it one time on the channel now's your chance say it out loud type it in a comment in a miracle get there yes oh. that ball never Let's broke left to right it never broke left to right we got lucky with the lip in there. Lock is on our side right, today. April right there, 5th, 2024. Careful out there. We got a tailwind blowing. WrestleMania weekend, everybody. I'm extra fired up for WrestleMania weekend. I always am. Hope you all enjoy WrestleMania this weekend. But oh, come on. Let's let's stay focused. We know the shot. 170 downhill 40. Hitching wedge in hand. Pretty good amount of loft, pretty good amount of backspin. Just got to hit this perfect. Got to hit this perfect. Come on, Ryan. That's not the shot. That's perfect distance control, though. It's slow. 
It was a perfect shot set up. Well, that's okay. That's okay. We'll get on the green. We've been here before, but it's such a dangerous shot. Second shot on the third. This is the worst spot you could be here because we're sitting on a downhill slope, right? This is the most inconsistent shot that you can take on this golf course because you just don't know how this lie is going to affect it. So it's a 61 to 75% rough lie. But that downhill slope actually dampens some of that. And you're not going to be able to spin this shot at all. So we have to flop it. And we've got a flop full loft and backspin. I don't even know, honestly. I don't know how we get this close. We got to hope that the lie angle... We've had this shot before. The rough does not affect it, right? It affects it a little. Let's aim three grids past. Go to not lend it short. We need luck here. Yeah, it that downhill lie, it just sends it. It's, it's like the rough doesn't even play at all. I thought it was going to play more than that. But it's crazy. Some of these downhill slopes you get in, in this game in general. And I mean, in real life, the same way. But, you know, it, that shot is insane. That's unfortunate. It missed and the shot off the tee the after a great bunker. shot set up. It's okay. Hey, we're starting out with two basically birdies on this golf course. Two pars is, is birdies on those first two holes. We got this. 69 to 81% lie. Splash this one close. Maybe splash it in. On right. Go in. Go in. Oh, what an effort. Yeah. What an work. effort. That'll work nicely. It, yeah, those well, I don't I we've be never now. hit the bogey, putt in and move on. We've never hit a shot from that spot with on the green on their approach. It's it's basically the only spot you don't want to be on this golf course. On this golf hole, because everything slopes downhill after that. You can't stop it from the rough on a downhill lie. You're going to generate no backspin, even when we put full loft and backspin, right? There's nothing you can do. Just and don't slow it. Down. It's that, if only it was and that simple. Over at the moment. What a clutch splash. What over. We are doing this today. Okay, teeing up now on a par five, and it's a big one, too. This one. Come on. That's beautiful. That's exactly where you want to be. As long... Well, hold that thought. As long as this doesn't bounce in the rough. Are you kidding me? That's so unlucky. Uh, unlucky. And second shot... John's right. I mean, that's about as unlucky as you can get, to be honest. Okay, Central Park AG strikes back. It's mad after that par par start. This course is alive, I'm telling you all. I I'm going to fade this one. Heavy fade. Heavy fade. That swing plane. Slow is fine. It's that swing plane. Go in the bunker, we're fine. Yeah, oh, that's going to play fine. But that swing plane was mega to the left. Right? Don't be disappointed. This is not a bad place to play from. We never hit a good shot from the fairway. We might as well try the bunker. Careful of this one. Fairway bunker. Not sure what's going to happen here. Okay, 170, uphill 9 feet. 81 to 92% lies. That's a big difference, right? That's a big difference. That is a massive difference. But I, I think six iron. I think it looks like we're on a downhill lie, right? It looks like that it, we should be fine here. Kind of looks like it's coming off to the right as well. So we got to be careful of that. That's perfect. It it's needs to hold in the light rough. This is very chip inable. Setting up here, green side rough. That's beautiful. Maybe that bunker is the spot to play from. One of the easiest shots we've had on this course. 
Okay, full loft and backspin. We know that this ball doesn't want to stop, so we've got to make sure we don't overhit this. So I'm going to do a practice swing. Many of you are like, Ryan, do a practice swing every chip shot, please. <laughs> and I know why. It means you've watched the last 46, 45 attempts, and you're like, well, Ryan, please practice swing. That was for you all. That's perfect distance control. Just way too wrong on the swing plane and fast, but that's a good Ooh, shot. Here, nice chip. And with this pot, you could save par. Good luck. Who would have thought One number three would be the bogey? Okay. That's that's what's so unique about this golf course. Each week, you know, we played this forty six weeks now. And we it never plays the same. On this one. It's insane. I mean, you you look back at we play hole three amazing most of the time. And that was the whole... You're telling me that we parred the first two in bogey three? That's this golf course. And that's what makes this challenge so... Everything makes this challenge so tough. But it also makes it fun and rewarding, right? I don't know if I would use fun. But I think you all know what I'm saying. So we got to put this in easy chip position. This hole has crushed us recently. Play the game. Going for a chip. That's Ooh, it. Maybe we can get a Whenever we get fancy on this golf hole, bad things happen. Go for a chip. Send it up. Be on your way. Wayward on that approach. Let's get out this of is it. Green side rough cleanly. Yeah, it's just a 90-95% lie. It's going to come off to the left. Interesting enough, we've never been here at this spot. Interesting, isn't it? Usually we're further up or in that bunker. One time, please. One. That's it? That's perfection? Go in! Go in, ball! Go in! Get in there, baby! Come on! Well done. Well done indeed. Are you kidding me? What a shot! Struck that right, to perfection with the shot set up and everything. Are you kidding me? All right. We finally conquered. If you all would have said I would have parred the first two, bogey three, parred four, and birdied five, if you came for the future, I'd be like, no shot. If I would have told you that to start this video, you all would have been no shot. Settle down. After a big shot, always practice swing. Trust me. That's when it starts to get real. The nerves, right? After a shot like that, even through five, you got the gauntlet hole here in six. That's when I start to get nervous. So that practice swing was to calm down. And it worked. Okay. Second shot on the sixth. Play the game. Play the game. Come on, Ryan. Not quite sure. Where Where's the wind? Where's the wind? That shot got a little bushy. Ooh, unlucky, that tree. No good. We can't say we never okay. got lucky. Her path it is. Uh, AG, thank you. Wherever you are out there, AG uh, gave us a very generous... <laughs> that tree is the only thing that's not out of bounds on that caddy book, YouTube. We've never got lucky on this course besides this moment. That was by far the luckiest moment we have had. That wind was a cross headwind at like 20 miles an hour. Did not pull the ball left to right. Did I slow that? Let me know in a comment. Did I slow that? It looked like perfect swing plane. Why did that ball not come to the left? It should have came to the left of like 10 yards. It didn't. So the reason I have a pitch shot out here is because of that tree. But I don't know what to do. It's with you. I have no. I wish I knew. I don't think that the pitch shot is the way to go. 
we got a lucky break. We have to take advantage of this. This is going to die. 8 iron pitch is not getting there. It's going to be in the sand or maybe out of bounds. Now, the problem is if we hit this pitch shot, we might have to punch this. A very unique shot that you don't have to hit too often. I don't know. I don't think there's any right answer here. It's not a shot you practice. <laughs> I mean, right? It's not a shot you ever expect yourself to be in. To be completely honest. I it's just so hard for me to tell if this eight if the pitching wedge is gonna hit that tree above us. I, I can't tell where the tree is, to be honest. Like I this might get up and over. No, I think a pitching wedge is gonna hit the tree dead on. A pitch shot eight, if we strike it to perfection, it could be on the green on an overpower. Right? And I think that might be the play. A little D loft. Just overpower this pitch. Get it up there onto the green. Yep, that's the play. I'm sure somebody said that in a comment. Thank you for that. Hey, we're in the sand. <laughs> it could have been a lot well, worse. Did you all see all. that? How much that ball shot off to the right? Fourth. It almost hit the light post. So I never would have... It's probably a good thing we hit that pitch shot. So the ball was in the air less. If we hit a punch shot, that's going to hit that light. If we had a normal shot, it would have hit the tree. We saw that. But wow, that could have been the end of the run. If we hit that that light post, such a tough shot. Just got to get this up and over, right? Nothing fancy. Come back down. Come back down. How does that stop? It was a bit too much. This golf hose nuts. But honestly, we got we got lucky and unlucky at the same time. That approach shot in that cross headwind should have affected it way more than it did with that swing. It never grabbed it. And we've hit that shot a thousand times, right? And that wind did not grab it whatsoever. We got to make this. It's heading towards the <laughs> What? And that's going to drop on in there for the bogey. There is no shot we just bogeyed that hole. That That's insane. I... And you're sitting at one over par at the moment. We are dialed in and today. Here we go. We I, I can't... That was the hardest bogey we have ever had in this Impossible Challenge series. It's not even close. That... Not only the position we were on the cart path, almost hitting the light post, into the sand... Under the green, an extremely difficult putt. You all realize if we miss that putt where that ball is going, a double or triple bogey is where that ball is going. Come on. Clean up this swing. Clean up the swing, and we got this. That Honestly, the, the wind just did not play on that last hole. I don't know. Good job. You can't play it close Second to the water, though, the so I don't know. It's just unlucky on that one. We've had good luck, though, overall. Let's get back to even right now. One over through seven. This is a dream start. This is more than a dream start. A dream start is three over through the first fr front nine, and then four birdies on the back or three. Nothing wrong with that. This is more than this a dream start. <laughs> this is a start that you don't expect to ever happen, honestly. 202, uphill four. Four hybrid in hand in this crosswind. It may even be three hybrid. I think three hybrids to play in this wind. Come on. Come on, Ryan. The Punisher Gamer. Come on. Come on. Bounce to the right.
Everybody remain calm. Act like you've been there before. Please stay on the green. Are you kidding me? Please? Thank you. Well, that'll do for now. You can get down to even par after this putt if you want. Just trying to settle the nerves. You know, that's the big thing. Sometimes maybe I need to take a drink of coffee. 28 feet. Uphill one foot. Right to left. Ooh, just, just missed. Here we go, four, par. That's so mean. It honestly looked like it was lipping in. It honestly looked like that ball was lipping in. It just decided to go out. That was such a good putt. You want to miss on the high side. You want to bring it on the high side. I wasn't about to miss that low side. Wow. Are you kidding me? If we miss this by one stroke because of that lip out, it's all right. Shake it off, right? Shake it off. Okay, next hole coming up. And just one stroke over. I mean, we we can't. We have to say it like it is. That's that's heartbreaking, right? Best of luck to you on this. No other words board. to describe that. That is a heartbreaking lip out. Okay, got this. Can't say I've had that swing playing in a long time. All right, Ryan. What here. happened on that one? The distance you want in the deep stuff. Okay. I, I don't know. I, I'll be honest with you all. I don't know. I didn't feel nervous. I didn't feel like I needed a practice swing, but sometimes you just miss. Welcome to golf. We got to draw this one into the fairway. We can't get this up there. A, six, a terrible lie. That's a great shot. Okay, we can still par this. But we could get a lucky, lucky birdie, but that's that's a tee shot we rarely miss. And I always say you gotta have perfect golf. I'm not sure what happened okay, there at the back swing. In the fairway. Good job. Because usually I can feel. If this I feel nervous, shots looking like. I'll take a practice swing every time. I did not there. That was just a missed missed input. I don't know. I don't know if my thumb slipped or it's bad bad uh bad swing. 75 yards, downhill 8. We can plant this one close. Honestly, this is an ideal scoring situation. Like, this is about as ideal as you can get. The problem with this shot, that lie angle. And my swing plane is so inconsistent that if I pull this, it's gone. If I push this, it's gone. <laughs> so, there's, it's got to be struck perfect. Like, that's the only shot we can do. Any miss swing playing like that could be troublesome. Okay, that was fine. Swing playing was fine. Slight fast. Swing playing to the right at the beginning dampened that lie angle effect. If if we hit it straight there or to the left, it's going to go where we thought it would. Nice shot. That'll, that'll do. 21 feet to the Got to make this here. par. 21 feet, uphill 3 inches. Come on, Orion. One time. Let's do this. Come on, Orion. Oh, this one could drop. We're playing oh, today, YouTube. Beauty. Do you want to win or do you want to lose? We are fighting with everything we have to stay alive. What okay, a putt. At one over par. Oh, act like you've Careful been there before, there. right? Sorry. Right. Blowing right to left. Keep playing. Keep playing the game the way it's meant to be played. We know what to do here. We need luck. I need everybody to one time this drive because we this is the drive you must have luck. You must have a lot of it, too. There we 
There we go. Nice swing on that one. Thank you all for the one times. That's an actual fairway on number nine. We, we maybe hit this fairway three times in 46 yeah, attempts. Was about 180 yards I don't, out. I doubt Brock, Brock out there probably doesn't have the fairway stats on nine. Uh, but that legend, bro, when we get new stats, you know, we basically hit all the stats at this point. But if you ever see a comment from Brock, Brock keeps track of a lot of the stats here. I don't think he has fairway percent on nine, but I want to say he would probably say 5%. You all are all legends. Thank you so much for all the great comments. I'm telling you, I love reading your all's positive comments and like like just talking about the course and like strategy. Love it. And the excitement on the good shots and pars and you all have just been encouraging me. We keep fighting. And we have 180 yards left into a heavy wind. The problem with this golf shot is if we miss hit it. And when I'm when I say miss hit, I mean lend it short onto the pavement here. That is the problem that you face with this golf shot. I know that you don't touch the loft. Only attack angle for spin. I've learned that the hard way on this golf hole. We don't need a lot of it. Let the wind pull it. It's it's shifting a bit. Wait a minute. Shifting a bit. That's fine. Add a little bit more spin to it now because of that wind. One time. This is when you need luck. Right here. When you need luck. This when you need luck. Don't you do it, ball. Don't you dare. Setting up here now for our third shot. If you all are new here, you all don't realize how lucky that was and how we probably put that golf shot in the only place it was going to stop we hit the only spot in this golf hole where the ball is not going to roll all the way off into the water but now we're left with a nightmare a nightmare that we probably have to putt I just don't see how a chip shot is ever going to stop. Yeah, a putt's not going to stop either. There's honestly, putt's almost impossible. The chip's almost impossible. Welcome to the impossible challenge, YouTube. Uh, we have to ask yourself, what gives us the best chance for par? None of them. What do I miss hit more, a putt or a chip? I feel like I miss hit a chip way more than putts, right? And you miss hit a chip on this golf hole, well, bye bye. You over hit a putt though, and bye bye as well. That's such a tough decision, you know? It's tough either way. It's tough either way, you know? I think we have to play the, the, the smarter shot here. My putt power has not been great on the fringe. I mean, it's just not. Either is my chip accuracy, but still, my putt accuracy is way worse. It's not even close. That's it. That's it. Come back down. That's perfection. It better not stop. No, there ain't no way. And wouldn't it be nice to say There is no here. way. How many times? There is no shot that ball stops right there. We're sitting on a red yellow slope on max green speeds 186 at this golf course. If you all don't believe that this course is ever changing and alive, that's like the perfect example of that that is so unfair <laughs> and now we're left with this and the reason i say it's unfair is because if we miss this this ball is gone out of bounds 
that's that's just so frustrating nothing we can do there that was a good chip it was perfect honestly that's that was amazing it's just unlucky this is insane absolutely nuts what we have to do to possibly have a chance to make this Ooh. Is he gonna stop? Please, please stop, please. Wow, we missed that by a Four millimeter. <laughs> what a putt, we are on. You know, when we're this on putting, we could have about six birdies on the back. We've had six birdies on the back before. We are playing fantastic. We hit that at the perfect speed and honestly just barely missed it. Just barely. That'll do. How does that previous okay, chip are. shot stop? I full I put full backspin on that chip shot too. There's no shot it stops on that slope. Here's a part no five. shot. Let's see what you can do with it. Here we go. Back nine starts now. Two over. Striking distance. We've had six birdies on the back before. Get your coffee. Whatever you're drinking. Cheers. Let's get fired up here. Come on, ride. Nice. That's uh, some solid. Nothing contact. fancy, right? Nothing fancy, a little partial driver here. It gives you the best shot going forward. Wow, that's the best shot we've had in a long time here. Let's see what you have on the second shot here on the 10th. No, terrible lie. That's a 70% driver lie in the fairway. It's not ideal. Now we've got to fade this. This is not where you want to be, actually. That's perfect, though. Good thing I've been working on those heavy draw and fade shots for moments like that. And I missed swing plane and tempo in opposite directions, so they canceled each other out. That could have been a nightmare. 117 yards, downhill 3 feet. Wind is blowing steady right to left. This is attacking distance here for birdie. This is, I mean, this wind's not going to add a lot of distance. As long as we hit the right swing plane, this is perfect. Wind's going to affect it quite a bit here. That's the shot. That is perfect. That You can't hit it any better than that. It, you're just at the will of the course at this point. <laughs> it's at the will of the course. It should stop. It usually stops right there. Nice shot. And this is uh, your look at birdie. One of the hardest putts you'll hit. Is you have to attack it to win. And if you don't, and if you if you attack it and miss, it's a bogey. But do you want to win or do you want to lose, YouTube? Tired of losing. This putt's tracking. Yes! Oh yeah, that's great stuff. Remain calm, everyone. Get your popcorn, get your coffee. Cheers. That one. You are sitting at one over par. Best of luck getting This is the worst wind one. you could ask for on this golf hole. That is a nightmare. Because it, it's just not enough. It's more to the side. These diagonal winds, when they're almost straight to the side, sometimes they don't affect the ball at all. Look at it. We've got it. We've got to watch the wind a little bit before we hit the shot. Is if it's wrong, we're in the water. I think we've got to go six. Usually we go seven. This is terrible wind for this. This is the worst wind you can have. So we've got to put this out to the right and onto the green. We can't get fancy here, you two. As much as we want to, that wind's inconsistent. We just don't know what it's going to do. Come on, kick left.
Well, it's gonna do that. <laughs> that was pretty good. I was not trying to attack that whatsoever. I think we know it played like a straight side win. I'd say. I was good trying job. to play that We're safe. Green. When I saw that fly, I was getting nervous. 30 feet to go. What a shot. 30 feet uphill, one foot. Left to right, right to left. One time opportunity, everybody. <sighs> Come on today. Come on. Come on, everybody. Let's keep fighting. Looking really good. Get in there, oh, baby! Oh, man, you did everything right on that one. I don't know how you did it. That was magical. Okay. Let's just play the game. Play the game, you two. Not gonna say a word. Let's keep fighting. After that, you're going down to even par. Nice. You know what's coming up. Okay, careful of the headwind out there. That's perfection. That is perfection. You're at the course's will, though, with every single shot. Like, you know, we, this course is going to do whatever it wants. And that green is well below us. We might need a little less club than normal. We know what to do. You attack this. You try to get it on the green in two. At all cost. And we've hit this shot a lot. That's incredible. Solid looking approach here so far. Go in. Just go in the hole, ball. You might as well. That was gorgeous. I need every single person watching this video to drop a one time out loud in a comment, drop a like, Counts as a one time work, as well. Uh, nice approach. We need all the one God time speed, energy my friend. we Very can get long putt ahead. on the gauntlet. I'm going to focus. I might not say a word the rest of this putt. I don't think I will. I went right by. This golf hole is so mean. That was a beautiful read. A perfectly struck golf shot and just missed it by a couple millimeters. Come on, 12. We, hey, we can still get par. That was so close. This golf hole is so painful. Come on. <sighs> we can do this. Hey, good luck here. We can do this. Par. Right to left, left to right.
One time. Looking very yes! Nice. Get in there, You're baby! The Come on! Act like you've been there before. Hole's gonna keep you right there at even par. And now teeing off on a par four. Okay. This is the golf hole that we've learned a lot on recently. And we've learned that I can't stripe a driver off the tee. Which plays a big difference in this golf hole. The bunker we get terrible lies from. The three wood is probably going to be in the rough anyways. This is not a good win for this YouTube at all. This is like the worst win you could get. What's This is by far the worst win you can get here. Um, I think we've got to go three wood. It's funneling right to left there. We just got to find the fairway. That's all we need. Driver's going to be in the sand and we've had that shot before. That's perfect. There we go. How many times have we sent that driver into the sand, into the rough, into the trees? Finally pull out the three wood. It took 44, 46 attempts to learn this. 45 attempts. Now Good the 46. Shot. And from here, it's about 115 yards to the Let's pit. get a birdie. Why not? 114, downhill four. Okay. It's tricky. Look at the wind. It's it's shifting. It's turning more diagonal. That is a huge change on this golf shot. If it's a true diagonal wind, it's going to add distance to this lob, and there's no way we're stopping the ball. If it's not, if it's straight side wind, we can stop it. I don't believe it is. So this is going to be an interesting golf shot. Downhill lie, too, is going to add distance. It's right to left of the off the side the wind's gonna pull it back this is tough one time that's perfectly struck that's about the only place we can put it is the wind like it says oh don't you dare roll all the way down Yeah, we'll we'll take that. Okay. One under par if you can sink this. All right. We know what to do here. We've had this before. You play it very safe out to the left and you make it. We've had this putt before. We've never made it. We've been close. Oh, it just whenever we've had that putt before it just goes no, that was, uh, yeah, and that was tough. i just think the difference was so in that putt <laughs> the difference is like inches and i aimed an inch too short but the crazy thing about that if i overpower that by a couple inches which is why i aimed so short if i overpower that that's out of bounds not out of bounds but you all see what i'm saying it's a bogey or double so that was a good putt the reason i aimed there if i overpower that it's gone we've had this putt before and the read was perfect Looking pretty good. That was a good putt. Come on. All right, staying right at even par. Wind is blowing left. 196. Right on this one. Downhill 40. The wind is protecting us big time. This 170 is going to fly 13 yards further because of elevation. That's 191, I believe. And then the wind's going to add a little bit more. Uh, set seven irons too short. It's got to be the six. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Come on. It, it hits the slope. It should come back. It should. You better not stay up there, ball.
Nothing wrong with that. Safely on the green. We hit the only. I knew it. We hit the only spot. The oh, we've we've done this three times now in this playthrough series. We've done this three times. If you hit that a inch shorter, it rolls down. There's this one transition point right here where we're sitting, where it transitions from green to yellow. If you land above that on the green, it doesn't generate enough speed to come down. That would have might have been an ace. That might have been an ace. Now we're left with a nightmare, honestly. And I don't know whether you go... I don't know. I, I, I mean, we go to make it, but the question is... There is a route to the left. It, I know you all are like, what do you mean, Ryan? I'm telling you all. There is a route. We've watched the ball roll. There is a route if you take a very left swing to it down that slope all the way around into the hole. And I know it seems crazy. I'm not doing it, but there's definitely a route to be had there. Because I've seen the ball take a, a very interesting route in this hole before. 24 feet downhill one inch. We need a miracle to even get this one to not be a mile past the hole. There's no speed you can hit this in which it's going to behave the way you want it, right? <laughs> it's just not going to happen. We need a lot of luck. Come back, come back, come back, ball. You know you're not going to stop. Just a little bit aggressive there. Setting I never five, have I seen here. more inconsistencies in this game than at this golf course. We've had shots roll out when you think they are going to stop. Hole number nine this round and so many times in this playthrough. Hole number nine stops a lot in the past. Of course, you just never know, but here we go. It should have kept going. Right to left. This one's tracking. That's what you wanted in there for par. Act like you've been there. And after that one, we're staying right there at even par. I've never been more nervous for a round of golf. That's the beauty of the impossible challenge, right? We got this. Come on, let's keep fighting. Let's keep focused. Okay, setting up about 180 yards out. Okay, 179, downhill five. Wind crushing in our face. This is a great opportunity to put ourselves in great position here. Four iron is the club. In this wind, onto the green, into the hole off the side hill lie. We've got to plant this close. Anything slow, we put up a good fight. But we can't slow this. Slowing would be just... Would destroy this fight we've had today. Come on. That's it. That's the shot. It's, it's going to go in the sand. Out. Yeah, I thought the wind was going to grab it a bit more. That's fine. I thought the wind was going to grab gonna it. going to hit every green today. That's all right. Come on. The shot of Ryan Gamer's career. Full loft and backspin. We've got to put this out to the right. Somehow just hope that this ball stops. That's the splash. That is perfection. It's got a hold though. <laughs> we almost made that. Wow, that was an effort right there. Don't you do it. It's setting up for your fourth stroke here. 
This is when I wish you could remove the pin. You can only remove it when you're on the green. When you're on the fringe, you can't. I've had so many fringe shots hit the pin and bounce out. Can't leave this short. One time. Oh my goodness. Never broke. Come back down into the hole. For the bogey. It didn't. How does that stop? These are 186 green speeds. That. Explain to me. Look at the break. You can see it from the other side. That putt never broke. I mean, was swing playing off? It might, I think it was a little bit off, but not that much. I don't know. I don't necessarily agree with that that break. I understand this middle, this grid line where my A marker is, right, is moving. S no, that's no. It's still left to right. You can see it there. That should all be left to right. Even the fringe lie was left to right. The putt never broke. It didn't move at all. And I I played that like right outside the edge. Not much break. This putt's good so far. I don't, hey, we're still in this. Just one over we birdied moment. 16 before. We, we birdied golf holes before. We birdied 18 multiple times. Remember I said a while ago, we're going to complete this challenge with the birdie on 18? On number 16. Remember when I said that? I did say that. Let's take one hole at a time, though. That's a frustrating result on that splash on the last hole, honestly. And that putt never broke. That made no sense. That swing was to die for. Thanks, John. If this stays in the fairway, get lucky. If it stays in the fairway, we can attack. If it doesn't, we can't. Setting up here on the first cut. And attack it. Light rough. 89, 93% lie. This is striking distance. Are you kidding me? We know there's only one spot you want to be on this green. Right here. It's the spot you're always going to be if you hit on this left side. We have an 88 to 92% lie. That's a pretty good range, right? That's a pretty, like, specific range to attack. The problem is the wind. It's so inconsistent this round. And it's playing inconsistent. So... If we get the 88% and this plays like a heavy headwind, we're in the water. If we hit a 5 iron and we get the 92%, the wind doesn't play, we're in the water. Oh, the wind's shifting. Good. Okay, the wind is moving. That's great. Come on, wind. Keep moving that way. Keep moving. That is perfect. You stay right there. And don't move an inch. Uh, thank you, AG, out there. AG was out there on the course. Got to get lucky, though. That's fine. Oh, AG was out there on the course manipulating okay. the wind. That we still... Did that change to a headwind? I mean, like a tail... Did that change to a tailwind? We got a lot of distance on that one. That's tough. We definitely got the 92% lie there. Maybe even more than that. I think that flew like 94, 95% and hit that upslope and just went. Huh. Gotta make it. Gotta make it. We know where this ball is going if we miss it. It's coming off well to the left. We've got to hit this thing and strike it to perfection. One time. Please, one time. So close. Wow, we gave it a run. We know where the ball is going there. You got to give it a run. We tried. Unlucky there on that. 25 footer to go. That wind, I think, changed to a little bit of a tailwind on that previous shot, and it added distance, and it just didn't. I wish we would have got the 88% of the lie. That's all right. Let's make this putt. We're still in this. 25 feet, uphill six inches. There's. We can birdie. We can birdie the 18th. We need. We have to have this.
Oh, no. Couple lip outs this round. A couple lip outs. If they go our way, that's it would have been a birdie earlier or par there. We're sitting even now. All right, for the boat. The lip outs have killed us today. So, so many good putts, too. How does that putt not break? How does that putt not break? Oh. Back down into the hole, maybe? <laughs> okay. That's so mean. Are you kidding me? The last putt just didn't break, and Here that putt didn't break either. I putt. remember... Remember in the past on this golf I always talk about there's putts in this hole that don't break and they look like they do, but we haven't they've been breaking lately. This week they haven't broke. This is this is what I've been talking about all those weeks. You're like, Ryan, you're crazy. It breaks every time. No, it doesn't. This is the worst time for it to happen. It never broke. Okay, well played. None of them broke. None of them broke. Wow. What a heartbreaking, a good fight. Like you have to attack it when you're sitting right there. We've been so close. Oh my, got to put this in the fairway. What a battle. Are you kidding me, YouTube? This is the week that we needed. I really thought it was the one. A couple of lucky breaks. We got unlucky with the wind on hole number five. Hole six. 06. Oh, we dominated. We we and this one's around that whole number five yards away. three. We got ourselves into trouble. This round was perfect. This you know what I say? It it takes a perfect round, a lot of luck. We had the perfect round, honestly. We did not have luck all the time. We had so many rollouts just didn't go our way. The balls kept stopping when they never do. We needed the balls to roll today. What happened here? <laughs> We've never been in ch a chance to birdie this hole. Imagine. A birdie eagle finish to win this challenge? I mean, it's possible. It is possible. We're going to sure try. Our lip outs have been so unlucky today. 101 was going for a partial three wood. Hit a perfect tempo, though. Please get off the green. Wow, we've been so close. I'm glad I didn't take the week off. Because this this is the confidence boost that I needed. I thought it was today. This shows YouTube. If you had doubts on whether this was possible, possible? Oh, it's possible. You better you realize we conquered the hardest holes on this golf course today. The double on the last hole was just that I never would have played those putts any differently like how do you play those putts that way I, I don't understand I don't understand that hole I really don't but other than that what a flawless round of golf luck was not on our side though besides that one shot on hole three slowed it that's unfortunate luck was not on our side I mean it wasn't we got some of the worst rollouts that we've ever had today some of the we got some terrible breaks, terrible lip outs. We can do this though. Let's finish with the par here and birdie 18. Fight. What a fight. Oh, it's getting there. Let's go. There's the lip in. Look, Central Park is like, come back. If that goes in, the other one should 100% have went in. Such a park's like, come back next five. week, Ryan. Come back next Careful week. You better believe. Left to right on this we'll be back. And we'll be nice fired swing. up. I was focused today. And I felt better. I, I Honestly, I handled the nerves well. I mean, look at what we did on the back and through 12. Kept the nerves the entire time. Almost, just keep in mind shot how close three. that shot on the par 3 was to being right next to the hole. We almost had two lip-in birdies on the back. A couple lip-in pars. If those go in, we're sitting one under or two under right now. Let that sink in. You can't play much better than that. Well. 
Good thing we didn't need an eagle to finish because there ain't no way you're getting that ball there. <laughs> and I would have been trying. There's the, speaking of the eagle, there it is. Maybe that's a sign we're going to hold this one out. What a round. Best round we've ever had. Impossible round of golf. You all realize this was an impossible round of golf. Like, I realize that how, how impossible this challenge is for me, right? But this shows that we can beat this. Although we have to realize it is impossible, we can have that round. Whether or not we get it, I don't know. But I do think it's attainable after today. What a fight. That's why you keep fighting. It's all about perseverance. That's what this challenge is for. That's perfect. That is picture perfect. Get up there and let's birdie. This is kind of heartbreaking because imagine if those lip in earlier. Down to two over. You think this? Imagine for a second. Imagine. Imagine the putt on that when we had that putt from the fringe. Can't remember what hole that is. Sixteen maybe. Imagine if that broke. It never broke. It made no sense. Look, even look at it from both sides. If that putt breaks, if we get lip ins, this is a putt to probably finish two under par. Wow. Perfect round of golf, really? Need more luck. Need more luck. Let's send this in for birdie. This one's on a good line. Wow. I mean, so quick. new Just best. Like that, your round is over. New personal best all the way through. Four birdies on that round. I cannot believe what we just did. You all realize. I could have gave up after that tough break on the front. I could have gave up multiple times. I kept fighting. I did not give up and was able to battle back. I Are you kidding me? 78% fairways is nuts. 38 greens is nuts on that course. 1.39 putts per hole should have been lower. A 74-2 over missed it by two. That is a new personal best, everybody. It's not even close. That is by far the best round I have ever played on this golf course. It might be the best round I've ever played in this game, consistency-wise. Putting was exceptional. That's just tough luck. I mean, just think about these shots that we had here. Think about the shot on nine. That putt that barely missed. So many putts that barely missed. Lip out, lip out, lip out, lip out. How many lip outs was that? What a fight. We showed so much heart. That was a two over on the front nine. Many people at that point would have would have been flustered would have given up no we bounced back with a birdie on 10 and 11 and parred the next three we parred 12 almost birdie 12 an unlucky lip out like uh, there's there's another one I, I don't know did 12 lip out i don't think it did i think it just went high side i don't think that was a lip out then 15 comes and we get a bogey on 15 frustrating bogey but it happens in 16 we were in good position uh honestly 16 was a unlucky shot out of the rough we take a look at that i did i think what i did there is i overpowered it it's not unlucky i overpowered it so of course the lie didn't play as much probably hit that 95 percent the wind had changed to a side win i put no backspin on it because i didn't want to I, I didn't want to send that ball into the wind more and unfortunately was not able to grab now we put ourselves in a position to par it but the problem was the putt two putts in a row that didn't break the par and bogey and it's just that that hole i'm telling you all you all for the past weeks you all be like ryan it breaks every time you keep missing it and there's an example of what i've been talking about on that putt that is exactly what i meant sometimes that putt does not break for whatever reason you find yourself in that valley it looks like it's left to right or right to left, but it plays basically straight. Maybe a 
a millimeter of break. But then we battled back after that double with a par and then a birdie. But you all realize how many near birdies that we had that round? Number one was, like, if we talk about the back nine, number number 14. If that par three shot rolls back down that slope, if we hit that a slight, maybe a couple inches shorter, it's going to roll back. That changes everything if we birdie that hole. And we had a lot of near birdies. We should we should have had a few more pars on the front as well. I mean, hole number three. When's the last time we bogeyed that? It's been a while. That's usually not the bogey hole. But this is a new personal best, everybody. That, that was an exceptional round of golf. That was four birdies. Yeah. Did we have multiple bogeys? You better believe it. But did we fight 100%? Most birdies and pars combined we have ever had here in the Impossible Challenge Series. Thank you all for the one time. So you better believe this is attainable. It's going to take that perfect round in luck. I realize that. But I do think today pointed out that this is attainable. It is. A few more lip -ins, We beat this on an Impossible Challenge is forever over. And I was hoping that today would be the last day of the Impossible Challenge Series. Trust me, I'm ready to complete this course as much as you are. are. I'm ready. Uh, I, I gave it all I had out there today. And I'll keep giving it all I have. And we'll keep fighting. Will we fall short? I don't know. It, it's. I realize that this is impossible for me. I mean, this is a perfect round of golf for me. And we still had four bogeys and one double. And so I've never played this good. Even the Predator AG Impossible Challenge. I, I feel like this was by far my best tempo and best round of golf. Focus. The most focused round I've ever had. And yeah, we fell short. That shows how impossible this is for me. But we can fight the impossible. We'll keep trying. I do think it's possible. And if it's not, well, we fought it till the end, right? We're sure going to fight it. I need all your all's hype and one times and positive encouraging comments for this. This was by far a round I would never forget. April 5th, 2024 is a day we will never forget. April 5th, everybody. And WrestleMania weekend. Hope you all enjoy WrestleMania. Have fun. It's going to be an awesome weekend. Another another fantastic week of the Impossible Challenge. I cannot believe that just happened. We were close. Let's keep fighting. If you all got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. And get on over to my second channel if you have not done so. Subscribe to the second channel as well. Plenty of content here on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel and Gamer Ability 2. This is just one video I do once every, either once a week or once every two weeks. Uh, so be on the lookout for this on Fridays. But in the meantime, there's tons of other PGA 2K23 and other exciting gaming content you can tune into here on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel. I will see you next time. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.